to go over Cloud Craze page labels. So if you're a Cloud Craze developer, you have probably run into this issue with once you edit the page label. Sometimes these pesky p tags will appear and then you take 30 minutes to an hour to get rid of them by doing various things that come to mind. So I've collected some notes from coworkers and I'm going to use their first name only. So these steps have worked for me to get rid of the pesky p tags. So first one is from Kevin. He says, instead of lightning, do it in classic. So this has worked for me 100% of the time. So whenever I see those p tags or whenever I need to edit page label, just do it in classic. The next one comes from Justin. Um, if you can't get rid of the p tags, then use the code HTML in handlebars and this will render the p tag. So that's also an option. And then the third one is something I found out. So if you use single quotes instead of double quotes, sometimes that'll get rid of the p tag, which I thought was weird. And when you've coded HTML for a while, you're so used to double quotes, but you know, I was just coming up with ideas and that worked. So a good tip is to always do control A and then delete everything. Uh, there might be a, a like an artifact or something, maybe a space it doesn't like. So always start off on a fresh, a fresh delete, I'd say. So bottom line, just use classic to edit the page labels and you should be good. So in my demo here, this is the registration page on my YouTube Cloud Craze. And if you need help or if you're trying to find the page label, just do view page source and then do page label map. And then you can find it that way. And then just take that and then go to CC page labels. And you know, find it and do not edit this in here. Just do it in classic. Yeah, you see that? I don't. That's, that's a big space right there. First name. do Amanda just so we can see that it changed. I'm gonna save it and to see it do control shift R and there we go there's our page label. Always make make sure to do a hard refresh or because the page caches so the page label won't get updated. <laughs> 